If you're looking for ways to increase the output of your marketing without imploding your team or you're struggling to come up with ideas, then here are some ways that you can use AI to help you with your marketing today. By the way, I actually used AI to write a lot of the script for this very video. So if you think the AI did a pretty good job, then give this video a thumbs up. And then also consider subscribing to our channel for more videos on marketing and design tips. AI for content ideation. The potential routes for someone to come into contact with you and your content on the internet and learn about you for the first time is pretty much endless. Successful content teams have something for each of these channels, a blog, a video, a guide, a webinar, a social post, a quiz, a... you get it. There's a lot of things you could be doing in content marketing. The opportunities and possible topics are endless, but our time isn't. Now we can just fire up ChatGPT and we can ask it to give us some ideas on what blog posts to write on a certain topic for our target audience. Within a few seconds, you'll have a whole list of ideas that you can then move forward with or send to the trash without a single tier or a wasted minute. It's really endless and it's up to you how you want to use this to generate an endless list of content ideas. What's most important here is having some useful prompts that you can feed into the system so you can get the results that you want. The more specific you get, the better the results you'll likely get. AI for copywriting. Here's where things get crazy. Once you have your list of content ideas from the previous section that I literally just finished talking about, then you can use those ideas as part of a prompt to create full on marketing copy. All right, so in this example, I'm going to use an idea that we got from the previous section to prompt a blog post to be written for us. Okay, so this is pretty good, but don't fire a copywriter just yet. You don't want just a blog post, you want a damn good blog post. The resulting copy may need some amount of editing to be brand aligned, impactful, or even factual. But if you don't see yourself as a writer or you see yourself as a really good writer with way too much on their plate, then this does allow you to make some passable marketing copy with the right inputs. AI for SEO. Nailing SEO can be the difference between 15 and 15,000 readers for your latest blog post that that AI just wrote for you. And as you can imagine, marketers are having a field day exploiting these poor bots for some sweet, sweet clicks. So building on our example from the last section, you can try some follow-up prompts like this. Give me a list of 10 keywords optimized for search engines based on the blog post you just wrote. Here's a pro tip. ChatGPT is contextual, and as the name suggests, you can actually chat about things that you previously wrote about. So rather than retyping prompts or copy pasting results, it can kind of like scroll up and see what you both already wrote in chat and build off of that. And so now that you have this pre-optimized blog post above and this list of shiny new keywords, you can then say, now incorporate that list of keywords into the blog post to optimize it for search engines. And now you have a theoretically SEO optimized blog post that you could theoretically publish on your website. AI for email marketing. How many emails do you think the average marketing team sends out in one week? The answer is, I think you really don't wanna know. You know what else you don't wanna know? How many hours that poor marketing team spends crafting emails every week? Surely there's room in your marketing budget for one more automation, cutting down the time you spend writing the emails. Here's an example prompt from top e-commerce email marketer, Chase Dunn. This one highlights the depths to which you can use ChatGPT for brand-centric email copy. Check it out. Using the problem agitate solve framework, please write an email marketing campaign that identifies the most painful problem faced by ideal customer persona and agitate the issue to show why it's a bad situation. Then present our product or service as the logical solution to the problem. Pretty good. By providing a detailed framework for the message in your prompt, a lot of the legwork is done for you. So just think, what other frameworks are you already using to write your email copy? And just include those in the prompts. So there's obviously way more use cases that a marketer could use ChatGPT for. So just hold on. Let me uh, quickly ask our trusty friend here what else we can use them for. That's pretty awesome. 
Uh, it's clear that using AI in our content creation process is absolutely useful and time-saving, freeing up our minds for more strategic and creative thinking. But there's clearly a ceiling on AI's ability. Without detailed instructions and some editing from a knowledgeable human mind, it frequently struggles to produce novel or truly useful ideas. And why does that matter to you? Well, our results depend on our ability to turn this generic AI written content into something more novel and unexpected for our viewers. This is so we can earn their attention. Human input is still clearly necessary to inject an element of, okay, I'll say it, humanity into the work. But if you want to create marketing content at scale, AI tools like ChatGPT can and definitely should be part of your tool stack. And if you want high quality and consistent design at scale to pair with your AI generated content, check out Superside. Whether you need inline graphics or a header image for your blog posts that the AI just wrote for you, or eye-catching designs for your social media posts, or dozens of other creative capabilities, Superside will pair you with a dedicated team of real-life humans to deliver effective design at the speed and scale that can keep up with your AI tools. To learn more about how Superside can help you deliver design at scale, visit superside.com. Thanks for watching.